Okay, I want to briefly comment on the alleged Republican target minority scholarships. Now, I've seen quite a few posts where black Americans were complaining about the fact that the courts have decided to strike down affirmative action. Now, in my opinion, affirmative action has really never done anything for the so-called black American. It benefited other people and maybe a few so-called black Americans, especially those that really wanted something in life. But for the most part, we're living in a time period now where black Americans are not interested, especially the so-called black male. Now, there are some that are in college, have graduated from college, are self-employed. But when we look into so many of the black communities, we see nothing but politics. The Democrat Party destroying the so-called black Americans have them so tight on a leash that even if black Americans wanted to be free in 2023, they can't because their minds are still chained. Especially when you have political talking heads like Attorney Crump. Now, this is from his Instagram page. And like I said, I, I hear so many black Americans that's calling um, Chief uh, Justice Clarence Thomas a coon. They were making memes. They were making videos about Clarence Thomas and how he's a coon. And he took affirmative action away from black people. Listen, don't you realize that Affirmative action is not for you. Of course, they may put black people on the front cover. They may put your face on the front cover. But look at who's really benefiting or who has benefited from affirmative action. Not just black Americans. Now, this is something that Trump had posted on Instagram. And I think he's quite hypocritical because according to this article, it says after gutting affirmative action, Republicans target minority scholarships. Now, if you look right here, I had commented and said, remember Biden cut funds from HBCU the minute he got in office. He reversed everything that Trump did. Trump funded black colleges and Biden defunded them. But I've never heard Benjamin Crump or Attorney Crump talk about that. They're quick to talk about Republicans and conservatives. They're quick to talk about Trump, but yet no one's really mentioned anything about Biden reversing what Trump did when Trump funded HBCUs forever. Biden came in and with executive order took that away from the black Americans. But yet now that affirmative action was quote unquote gutted, which I think this is a big help to black Americans because you can stand on your own. Black Americans need to be, um, what's that Tariq Nasheed say, uh, the, the little term that he used, on code. Black Americans are not on code. See, you allow these people to control your mind, and you have people that's, that, that's commenting, talking about racism is getting so blatant and mainstream. But no one's talking about Biden. And how he's destroying black Americans. Mr. If you don't vote for me, you ain't black. But yet the so-called black Americans ignore all of that. No wonder when Africans come here, they don't want to identify as black or black American. 
most of them identify as Asian or white because they want nothing to do with black Americans. They see what's going on with black Americans, but yet only few of the so-called black Americans can see. And it really, it's really mind blowing to me how you have people like Judge Mathis, Attorney Crump, educated black men that ignore what is happening in the Biden White House. They see what's going on, but politically they're on code, but they're not on black code. So I think it's real hypocritical for Boyce Watkins and all of these political figures that's complaining about the Republicans are gutting affirmative action, but it said nothing about Biden defunding black colleges. So make sense of that for me. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.